Kiefer, what did it mean to have your first season be with the Pacers? What did you learn throughout that season about yourself and about the league? Uh, so my first season with the Pacers uh, was amazing. Uh, it showed me just my resiliency, just my ability, you know, in training camp to get hurt, you know, to get cut, to, to play in the G League, uh, to just wait my turn, uh, to be ready. Uh, when, when my number was called, when my name was called, to, you know, just reach my dream uh, of playing in the NBA and to actually, you know, live it every day, going to film sessions, going to practice and continue to get better and better every day as a basketball player. Um, it just expanded me. It just got me ready for, um, you know, for next year and what's, what's next in my life in the future. Why was it important for you to hold this camp here in Indy, even after you got cut, to continue to, you know, hold good on that promise and be here for these kids? Yeah, I mean, it means everything for me to hold this camp in Indianapolis. Uh, you know, not just me giving back, but, you know, what I could take from these kids, what I could take from these kids' situations, what I could take from, you know, their, their lives, just going to school and just trying to figure out their dreams and goals and, you know, just bringing life down to just that child man mindset of freedom of these kids, you know, believing that they could be anything, uh, aspiring to be in the NBA and for them to be inspired by me, um, it's going to do number fill me up. So um, no matter what the situation is, uh, like you said, I was cut uh, recently. But uh, I know I'm still going to get another job. I'm still in a position to continue to be a good basketball player, a good professional. So I want to continue to give give that back to them, you know, at all points of my journey. So uh, I think uh, now it's even more important just to show them, you know, how to deal with their self-esteem and their ego and just how to, you know, stand tall, you know, no matter what. And still have a smile on their face because uh, that's how I operate. That's how I live. And how motivating is it to know that you got a taste of the NBA, but it didn't end the way you wanted it to, so now you gotta run it back and prove yourself again. Yeah, it just means a lot, man. It just means that there's so much more out there. You know, I still haven't played in the United Center, Chicago, my hometown. Um, you know, in, 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 in the NBA, most times you're never gonna just play for one team. Uh, I played on 10 teams in like the last two years, and this is just number 11, and um, I had a good year, and I've been a free agent all of my years, so I'm just sitting back in the same uh, position I've been in, you know, trying to continue to get better off the court first. Uh, then trying to get better as a basketball player. And uh, I'm sure a team will be in interested in me. And um, a lot of teams will be. So, you know, I'm just enjoy enjoying my freedom, enjoying my time with my family, and uh, just continue to be the best, just best person I could be.